Hello again. Um, I'm back. I don't know how for how long I'm back, but I am temporarily back, I think. Can I get some ones in chat? If you, there you go. <laughs> it's fine. Give it 10 seconds and it will crash again, apparently. I think we got a grand total of about two minutes, like 30 seconds of uptime before it went out. For some reason, in Firefox, it still isn't working. And I have no fathomable clue why. Let me restart Firefox. Maybe it's got itself all messed up. Let's try that again. I checked it in Brave and it was fine. Let me try searching. Like, does anyone else do this as well to check the internet's working? Where you go to your browser and you just type in random letters to see if it will Google them. Uh, let's try that. Oh, now it's working on Google. That was weird. I think that's what we all do, right? It's the, it's the fastest way to check if your internet is working. It's just to go randomly to your browser and just start slapping in random things. I think we are back. Um, touch wood. On the plus side. Also, thank you for staying with me, loads of you. I, I realized that it, was very, it would have been very easy to turn off. In that point. If you've just joined us in the VODs, you've seen nothing. Nothing happened at all. I'm a pro streamer. There's definitely nothing wrong with it. And... The, ignore the fact that the VOD is definitely in two parts. I even have um, a thing that's like disconnect protection that's designed to uh, stop it from like splitting the VODs up. That 30 second VOD. Well, yeah, I mean, I just won't upload that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. I think we're okay now. Yeah, that was so fucking strange. So like, at first, I, I my bitrate went to zero, which is like, oh, that means the internet's dead. But I could still see you lot chatting. And I could still respond to you through OBS. So my guess is what happened. It was like some kind of intermittent outage that was affecting, like massively reducing the internet ability, but not actually fully turning it off. So obviously text things are much easier to transmit than 6K, you know, 6K a second signals. So I think that sort of killed it again when I turned it back on again. I don't know why it like took two restarts though. Yeah, OBS wouldn't even like, um, I couldn't even click stop streaming. So when I clicked stop streaming, it said stopping streaming. But then it didn't stop the stream. So I had to like forcibly close OBS twice just to get it to work. So there we go. Also, what I typed in onto uh, has given us early goal directed therapy. So there you go. We learned new. We learned new. So back to FM. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. who's just got the Twitch notification for the second time today. Goddamn. Okay, I think we've, we've done like, what? Two and a half minutes now. So we're good. We're good. We should be all right now. But what that does mean is hopefully Hal are actually going to win the Champions League, right? That's what that means. Something like that. Yeah, I was genuinely, my brain had gone to like, oh Christ, what am I going to do for the recap video? Am I going to have to like do the rest of this stream on Thursday or something? And then like push the recap back or something. But there you go. And we still have Denise Ball and we got Ferenc Farris Napoli. Uh, oh, Pete, thank you so much for the thousand bits. That's very, very, very nice of you, my friend. Glad you're back. I'm glad to be back. Oh dear. But yeah, I love that. It's because basically, Brad, so whenever it schedules a new match, it's just like, are you sure you don't want to change all of your training for the next seven months? <laughs> it seems to do every single... The best one as well is when you've already set up training, knowing full well that you're going to schedule a friendly on a certain day that you've already prepared the training for. And you put the friendly in and it goes, <gasps> what are we doing? It's n never fun. Ah, oh. didn't get the first one. Also, Marius, if you're still here, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it definitely wasn't your fault, right? Ah, oh, dear. I, I do love that um, I have enough of an audience that you'd stick around through that silliness. The fuck was that? <laughs> Did the camera just get glaucoma for a second there? Oh, what the fuck is going on? Chat, are we trapped inside a floodlight? I think we just had... Ah, <laughs> oh, it's lovely to be back, friends. And now there's music. I wasn't the only one that saw that, right? The random blurriness there. Oh, I'm sorry, Marius. Maybe it's just that your your energy is too much. I, I'm guessing um, graphic editing is my passion, is doing the uh, match direction for this one. I'm... Is that Darwin Caicedo? Oh, it is. He's another former one of our players. Right, let's go. Now, remember, French Farage... Yeah, Halash uh, won. They won 4-1 against PSG, and so they are going to be in the Champions League semis. Major heads ball in. Oh. Ferenc Farish lead, of course, 1-0 from the away leg. So anything but a defeat for Ferenc Farish at home to Napoli will see them also reach the semi-finals. So we're actually still doing quite okay. He's Hungarian. Yeah, he's, he's one of these sort of um, naturalized Hungarians. Also, it's looking like Villarreal would be their opponent were they to reach the semi-final. And I'll tell you what, that would be a reasonable tie, I would say. Oh, God. 
I'll tell you what, right? If FM somehow conjured up a situation where we actually did get two finals this year, despite the fact that we wouldn't have been in one of them, I would absolutely take that. Like, when we got knocked out, I did say, if somehow this means that Halalash can get to a Champions League final, I'll actually accept it. But I have a theory that... I have a theory. I have a feeling that Real Madrid will probably clap them. But you never know, right? I think the problem is without Zivkovic. I know they scored twice against PSG, but this is not a strong PSG. They weren't even a top half side. McCabe's in. Oh, oh no. So close. And smashed. Joaquin Silva. That's it. 2-0. 2-0 on aggregate. Would you bloody believe it? This is amazing. I can't believe these two are actually pulling up some actual feats. This is great from McKay, by the way, to actually get all the way into the box like that. And this is some finish from Wacky on the foot. That was so similar to the Jimenez chance against Everton at the weekend, which he obviously hit the post with, but still. Oh. Oh, goal back there. That's one of our former guys as well, I think. This is going quite well. Hang on, did you say that sub goalkeeper was called Peg Leg? <laughs> it's Peleg. Imagine if it... <laughs> it's a Mar Peg Leg. Oh. oh, massively Icarus. Like, the quality they've got is next level because they can sign outside of Hungary. I reckon if Ireland didn't have the transfer preferences that they did, then it might have been different. It's going to be Pegle. He's about to become Itamar Pegle. I love that we've got, like, Israel have thrown up some fantastic names. Do you remember Dudu Delulu? What was his name was? Was it Boo Boo Delulu? There was a guy called Boo Boo Delulu or something that was Israeli as well. 45 minutes away. Can Ferenc Farosh not concede two second half goals? Bear in mind, Napoli have not had a shot yet. Although they have had a shot yet, but it's not on target. It also feels like the Hungarian sides play a bit of quite nice football. And also, shout out to Ferenc Farosh, who rarely ever give us anything to scream about when it comes to their European performances. I think they've only ever been in one Conference League final and they fucked that one up. So they're never normally a great... Oh, hang on. Silver's in again. Oh, dear. Ooh, dear. Oh, we actually found a dude called Allah Allah, spelled exactly like that first name as well, where 80, uh, 75% of his name was A's. Ah, there's the the injury there for Salim Majahed. But luckily, Stefan McFarlane's in. Doo -doo 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 doesn't have a stutter. Maybe his name's actually just Do Baloo, but he does. <laughs> the other 25 was L. Ooh, this is McCabe. McCabe's joining Ferenc Farrell on a permanent transfer in the summer as well. He's that guy we got from Manchester. Oh, what a hit! Yeah, Silver is very much not a dink merchant. It was uh, like a power dink, but mostly power. Short for David. Is it really? That's kind of cool, actually. So what you're saying is that there could have been a situation where it was Dudu versus Goliath. Because I want to read that. That sounds fun. I thought they had a guy called Fatty then. It's Fatty. And McFarlane clips the crossbar. Yeah, a bit of a power dinklage rather than a Peter. Exactly. Right, 15 minutes. Just don't concede twice in the next 15 minutes and you're in the semis. I do love as well the, the performances we've had in the Europa League in this. And I wonder if part of that is because of the lack of drop-down teams. It's made it slightly easier to progress for our guys when they're in it. And if that's the case, then I'm taking it because I'm super happy with it. Like two Europa League titles. We still have more Europa League wins than Conference League wins in this save. No, no fat on cake. There was a guy with cake as a surname and he was Albanian, but he wasn't fat on cake, sadly. We'll probably never get a name quite as good as that again. I feel refreshed all of a sudden. Oh, go on, survey. Bend another banger. Ah, oh, that's a really bad pass. All right, just get a... Nice, 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 nice. Diverse name port. Yeah, it's dope. Canahan, where's the runner? I mean, they don't really need another goal. If they get it, though, it would be making me happy because I feel like Napoli have still got a goal in them and it's silver again. That looked offside. Yeah. He was miles off. All right, change for Napoli. They're throwing something at us late on. The 12th man. Thank you very much for the eight months. My stream deck's actually turned itself off. That's how long oh, I was really? absent there. How's it going, man? Hope you're well. Oh, I'll be all right. They've actually played Napoli off the park in both games. They look like an actual, genuine... I had some cake the other day, actually, um, from the uh, Dutty place. They've changed their cake supplier, and it's just not the same. It's really dry. There we go. French Farsh, 2-0 on aggregate, 1-0 in both legs. Success. So, we've got Champions League semis and Europa League semis. Which will mean... French Farsh via Real, which is decent. And obviously, Haladash, Real Madrid, which is very, very tough. But you just never know with these guys. It's dutty cake. Hold the dutty indeed. 
Yes, Maris. Yeah, that is, uh, you've seen that one. Yes, that was fun, actually. Um, Someone um, someone actually did this to me, uh, tweeted this at me as well more recently, saying that they couldn't understand how I did that. And I was just like, I'm just commentating on the games. Like, uh, because I tried to do it in a commentary style as if I was a neutral observer, I suppose, they somehow thought I was post comming it. Just, what would be the point? What would be the point about that? Uh, I'll take these guys as well. Patrick Papp, good name. The strongest scouting report. Bit of an overestimation, I'd say, but it's all right. We'll take that. Okay. So they're through. So who we got left? Ajax are through, who are a decent team, obviously. Newcastle are through, but not emphatically. And Villarreal are through. Again, not emphatically. Lost the first leg. I think like having no Benfica as well is good. Right, now let's check the coefficients. 19.8. We're still above England. So actually, as things stand, we are still technically on the go for eight teams next year. Uh, the question is, who's left for England? So no one in the Conference League. Newcastle in the Europa. And the Champions League is just Chelsea. I think there's a chance that maybe we could just about outdo England this year and sneak into second spot again for the year. And thus get that extra team in Europe because I think at this point having the eighth team is actually beneficial to us given what we saw in the group stages when it doesn't all go to shit anyway wow we've got quite a few games in the way now but now it's time to play this new tactic a battle named after it really like an actual battle Hastings FC what a, what a, what a word Michal's back in sort of training can I put him on like a French Farish in the uh, Europa League yeah I'm gonna put him on general rehab I never ever do that, but I've remembered to. That's still damn tight, though. Look at Portugal in fourth. What a year. And if England don't... Yeah, that's a... Gr I hadn't considered that point, Lord Richard. Yeah, because it's if England are the ones in third, they'll have one less team in Europe. And given that it's a Champions League team and they always qualify, that's just got them a less bonus points, right? Uh, no, we had a team in the Conference League. We had Kekschmidt, but they, got lo they lost to Partizan. Hey, Nighty, luckily you've come now, because if you'd come 10 minutes ago, I wouldn't have even been live, because we had some horrendous internet issues. But you've joined us at a very, very interesting time, because we have teams in both the semis of the Champions League and the, Conf uh, the Europa League, and it's not us. Which is something. What a stream to be your first time. I know, imagine joining the stream, like, oh, I might check this guy out finally. And they, dro they drop into chat, and it's just, there's no streaming, but then there's just you lot in chat. Hmm. Chat's the only part I care about. Oh, Palestino. Name of someone in chat. Uh, maybe not chat right now, but a, a chatter. Shout out to you if you see in the VOD. Right, okay. Jury to face off against this new little idea of ours. Uh, that's not happening. I love that it has a trek in it. That makes me happy. Just its existence. So, Raposo, Evaldo, Jurin, Bigmanovic, Romero, Valone. Okay. I'm curious. Which street? How dare you? There is only two VODs. I don't think Twitch will even save the middle one as a VOD. I don't think. It ha I think it has to be a certain length. Right. Let's try out this Diddy's thing. Oh, nice one, Basil. Uh, Pog and I watched this um mini documentary about UTMB yesterday, and it definitely made me want to pick my next race because I've kind of decided I just want to do like experience ones, ones like mountain races, just stuff that's a bit more, just a bit fun, you know. Don't know what to do exactly next, but. Something like that. Like a, I don't know, like a 20 mile trail one or something. Exactly. I'm, I'm excited to see how this plays in the match engine. Particularly against a club like Jury, who are going to give us space. Now, how Yamin's going to do as the... Wait, is Velasquez suspended or something? Ambitious. I don't know about 20 miles, but like, that's what I want to do next. Because I really enjoyed doing the trail race. Wow, we've had no shots so far. But, you know, it's going to take... I'll give this one two games because we've got two in a week. Because I want to see if it gives them a chance to, like, settle into it first before we make any drastic changes to it. Or remove it entirely. Although, if we were to lose to Jury, that might be a slightly different story. Given that... Actually, I suppose we still have a uh, nine-point lead, don't we? Right, let's go. Oh, look at this. Big Manovich is taking people on. He's got three players around him. He's still going. He's still going and he's gone for goal because of course he has. Yeah. What happened? Uh, massive internet issues, Sam. Hmm. That was... Uh, he did very well up until he didn't. 
Like he did all the hard part and all he has to do is roll that across the box and Blaz will tap it in. But he had other ideas apparently. Ah, oh, what a throw. What a throw. Players all around him just throws it straight into a crowd of bodies of non-MTK shirts. Let's watch some of this football. So what is this supposed to exactly create, Hadrian? I'm curious. Oh, hang on. Drop it across. Ah, cleared. Yeah, FM's just kind of like, no, no, you are going to give the ball away here. God damn it. Although part of that could just be because the players are brand new to the system. So perhaps if we play this for like three games, they'll start to get more involved in it and actually we'll see it slowly improve over time. That's what I'm going to potentially give it. Actually, let's say three. Edvaldo's in. This should be a finish. Oh. He didn't fan his body out enough there. It just overloads every... Okay. I haven't seen him yet, but give it a chance. Give him some time to get used to the tactical style, I think. How that's winning, though. So it's kind of like total football, but with very specific goals in mind. And... Oh, it's in. It is in. It's a weird one, but it's a, a just a straight-up headed goal from Edvaldo. But that height that Edvaldo has comes in very handy. Like, we're playing well. We're denying Jory any real opportunities in this game. It's just not quite as creative. Oh, I, oh, hello. Okay, so... Fury's gone off. So that should make this even more easy for us, in theory. One thing I will say is everyone on the pitch is performing of a reasonable level. We've not got anyone who's dropping rating as well, which is quite impressive in a game when it's like only 1-0. I'll oh, drop it across this time. Yamin, yeah, go on, Alexis. Ah, it's wide. And it's always good to see when the players in the tactic, generally speaking, are all playing to a decent level. He wanted to be free. It's true. Oh, that's right, because we found that guy last year called God Knows Free, didn't we? Right, Durin. And it's in. But is he offside? Yes, he is. Damn it. System, it's uh, one that Hadrian sent me. It's designed to, in theory, mimic the tactical stylings of Denise at Fluminese. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, he's miles off. Shame, though. It was a nice run. Okay, first half's not awful. Clip that on the Von Rex. Can I see more Wait, clip what? Oh, that. Christ, that's going to be in the recap then. Feels like there's been too much singing in the recap this year. But, you know, any excuse, right? Possession is very, very high. But does God knows he does. It's true. Right, go on, Raposo. I have a... Oh, what? <laughs> a bizarre header. And Edvaldo's in again. Another headed goal from Ed... I mean, Edvaldo seems to love these batshit tactics. Like, whenever we play these weird ones, he just really seems to... I want to know how he got that header. Like, the way that he catches this on his head... Oh, no, pick, flicks up and... <laughs> what is that? No corner set up. That's true. But, hey, it seems to work. I guess when you leave the AI to its own endeavours, it kind of just does what it wants. And that's apparently what it wanted. Oh, here we go again. Presumably Advaldo back post again or something. Patrice? No. Nope. Maybe even on the breakaway, even though they don't have any players forward. This will probably just be us collecting the ball off of them and then scoring up the other end that one time they try to go down the pitch. We're swarming around them. What a shot. <gasps> I thought that was going past Cooper then. The way that he was so casual about collecting that. Right, come on, Advaldo. Drop it off. That's nice. And Valdo does like the batshit. Then again, he is Brazilian. So maybe he already knows about this system. And that's why he's already in amongst it. Uh -oh, oh, here we go. Nice little intricate football. This is good. We keep it moving. Nice, big Manovic. Oh, picks it up. And Valdo. Great save again. Uh, second legs. Uh, so Haladash won 2-0. So they're 4-1. Through they went. And Ferenc Farish won 1-0. So they went through as well. Which is dope. So we got both of them into the semis. Uh, right. Let's, uh, let's give Sam a little run. Let's go with... Hmm. Montiel's on a booking, and I wouldn't mind giving some football, actually, to Kenyatta, because I want him to get more game time. We are still missing a few guys to come back. Maybe Carpenu in as well. Yeah, that was nice. Cooper's programmed to get freaky. He is. He's programmed with over 600 dance moves. Top two in the league. Hell yeah, Phoenix. That's awesome. That you mentioned what they were, make that work with the Dutch. But uh, you, this Dutch leagues are great because there is always randomly um, amateur players knocking about. We still pick up amateur players from the Dutch leagues, even now. From teams like um, Vitesse and Venlo, especially. And also Den Haag. There's always randomly a couple of amateur dudes on their roster, too. Ah. 
Unfortunately, Kevin Griffiths doesn't play for us anymore. It's the one thing I forgot to mention. Um, Kevin plays for Kishvada now. He demanded to be sold, but then Kishvada actually bid on him. So we sold him to Kishvada for 20 million pounds. We could have got like 70 off of Liverpool, but I felt that him being at Kishvada would be a massive step in the right direction. And to be fair, he did score twice for them in the Champions League against Shakhtar. They still went out because FM, but he did look genuinely excellent. And I think next year he could be an absolute worldie for them. England international playing for Kishvada. Van Damme! Edvaldo over the line. That's going to be offside, isn't it? Nope. It's a hat trick. Well, Edvaldo looks fantastic in this system. He looks absolutely world class in this system. Three goals for him. Sem obviously being good in the air definitely helped us out a little bit there. Carpenter looked really decent. 3 0 in the first attempt with this is pretty solid. He just stays on side, taps it over the line. Ended up being top scorer for the rest of the season now. Palace. Ah, Resale closet. Nah, we're not interested in that. We sold him to them because we knew he'd be good for them. And then if they sold him for loads of money, they'd get loads of money. That was the whole point of it, basically. Raposo clicks it over the crossbar. It's far from perfect, but it's been pretty solid so far. We've considered, considered no shots, which is always a nice sign. Created a decent amount ourselves, and I feel like it's only going to get better as the players get used to the style. Yeah, we made a sacrifice for the greater good, exactly. We knew that it would benefit them longer down the line if they can sell them on for £100 million and then they keep all the money. It'd be great. Yeah, exactly. The possession has been superb today. I want to see what this will be like against a slightly higher quality team, which obviously we'll get a chance to because I think we're playing Kishvada midweek. That was really decent. Just look at the domination. Not even a bell. It's like a bell curve of domination. The Harris one is not great. Um, I really hope we can extend it because if we get Harris back for no reason, I mean, I trust them to sign someone fantastic, but you know how good he's been for them for such a long time. It would I'd hate to see him come back here because I don't know what we'd do with him. Hall of FM, uh, because I just really enjoy it. Like, I really enjoyed this save, other than last stream, really. There have been nothing but joys to, to to play. That and obviously making it for content means that it's not just me that's enjoying it. So it's you kind of feel a sense of responsibility to that as well, to keep yourself motivated. I forgot about Famine. I think they got another good centre-back from us. Right. Okay. Kishvada next. They're, actually, they're not doing so well. They're eighth place this year. They really need to get back into Europe. Although, that being said, imagine if they did come 8th and then got into the Conference League. Because if we got that extra team in Europe, Kishvara in the Conference League could be absolutely ridiculous. Like, these guys are a Europa League winning side who probably could have gone quite deep into the Champions League. Uh, as my... The hell? My playlist is... Oh, great. Spotify has now stopped working. Uh, because one thing that happens when I lose internet um, is Spotify will randomly decide that I'm no longer connected to the internet. But then when I get the internet back, it still thinks that I'm no longer... It says, what do you mean not responding? So then it basically decides after that that um, you're no longer connected to the internet, no matter what you do. Yeah, now I can't even load it. <laughs> oh, what a day. Right, where's Spotify? Can I turn you off properly and then restart you fully? Why are there like seven instances of Spotify? It's just like, it's just like Chrome now. The only way to sort that issue, if it doesn't actually solve it like this, is to restart the PC. So if that's the case, we'll have to go sans music for the rest of the stream. What is it doing? I think Spotify is completely broken. Yeah, it's refusing to connect to the internet. Presumably it had buffered a shitload of um, back stuff for when I was like not working. For when the internet wasn't... Yeah, no, it's just... When I load Spotify, I just get a blank screen. Like a blank grey screen. Because it refuses to admit that it's reconnected to the internet. Oh, well. One of those days... No, I've, I just ended task process like that. Um, I could, uh, well, I could do it through YouTube, but then I wouldn't be able to trust that it's copyright free properly um, or control the settings on it properly. The Windows Spotify app is genuinely horrendous. Oh no, I have them downloaded as well. This playlist is downloaded, but it still won't let me access it offline when it does this stupid crap. It's ridiculous. It just grays everything out and claims that it's not downloaded, even when it is. It's, yeah, just Spotify doing Spotify things, unfortunately. Let me see if I can log into the player on my browser. And maybe play it through there. That might work. Hopefully I'm actually logged in. Bit of acapella. Um, so, anyone like Enrique Iglesias? Let's see if I can get it working here. It, so, it, it won't even... There you go. I'll just play it through my browser. I just won't be able to control it with um, OBS. 
Just play the Yanos song on repeat. I know. Yanos hasn't had a, a look in today yet. Oh. Also, I didn't look at Zivkovic yet, did I? My apologies. Ronaldo Dangon. Okay. Yeah, just Yanos on two hour repeat and it'll be absolutely fine. I can't see anyone complaining about that at all. Right, I was meant to show um, Zivkovic. So let's do that first. That was a, a, a look up that came through right before I had the internet die on me. Got minus 84 out on loan now. That's the most ever. That, I think, is now 172. Damn. Right. Goals? If it's too loud, let me know. Okay. So that's Harris's attributes. He's got 35 and 37 this season. I don't know if he does join the team because I don't know where he'd go. Like, he's only a little out on the door. That's worried. I can knock it down a little bit. There we go. It did notice it would be... Uh, it reverts back to zero uh, HP. Someone actually tested it. Yeah, if he doesn't come... If he does come back, I don't know what we'll do. Three to five months. I just hope that they... Yeah. I don't know. It's the worst possible time for it. I was really hoping that he had like a two-year extension so it wasn't going to be a problem, but yeah. We might just have to eat that. Like the thing is, because I know that they'll sign someone to replace him, but they won't... They won't be as good as Harris. Because like, think of how much it would cost to sign a player of that quality. The only reason he's that good and still playing there is because obviously he essentially grew up there. He developed into the player he is now. Often it doesn't work. You can't do that. Well, I mean, you can do that. Nothing happens. Plus, he'd fail his medical anyway. Trust me. We've tried this. You, if you offer players like that to the club... For also, our board would probably turn it down anyway. But I can guarantee you they would decline to make an offer. Uh, so, literally... And maybe it'll work this one time. But I'd be willing to bet it doesn't. So, offer him zero transfer fee to Halalash. And I'd almost be guaranteed that they will decline to make an offer. Particularly because he's injured as well. Sadly. Oh, yeah but the thing is I don't I, he's worth so much to them that's the problem uh, yes he did he did come through my bad let me just set this team up for this game and then we'll have a little look at that too okay that's not too bad New England Patriots thank you very much for the eight months my friend I hope you're well the stream better miss much um, not much uh, other than Ferenc Farris are through to the next round as well How's Wales for building a nation? Um, I hope you like Brexit rules. I hope you like not signing anybody. Because you'll really struggle to bring in young players that you can give to other teams because you won't be allowed to sign the players. So, basically anyone... Yeah, work permits will absolutely, completely, yeah, bust it, sadly. It's a shame. Uh, Kim Sang... Do you say there's a guy called Kim Sang OK? Kim Sang OK? That's great. <laughs> Oh, I hope he did. I hope he did sing okay. World's okay as streamer. World's okay as singer. Hey, it looks like he sang a little bit better than okay. Let me scout you, my friend. I know he was exploring his options, but... I bet he sang hero. Only the real OGs do that. Right, we get to play against... Oh, Bohats is back now as well. He had quite a major injury. This has just been a year of major injuries. Bohats had a broken ankle as well. There's so many key players to major Hungarian sides that are out on loan from us have had massive three or four month injuries this season. Moist okay is singer. Ooh. Naughty. Kim Sang okay. Kim Sang actually could does sound like it could be a sort of an, an Asian beer. Like, what's it called? I swear there's one that has a name that's similar to that. Actually, I think I'm thinking of Dim Sum, which is very much not a beer. Yeah, this team is actually quite good. Look, they've got Radicic and Salai... Um, Kalaya? Chalaya? God damn it. Inferno's going to shout at me again. A Van Damme Zivkovic swap would work out for both clubs. Excellent. But it won't happen, will it? So it would work out brilliantly, but it's not going to happen because no one... Van Damme is not going on loan to Halalash. It just, just won't happen. He's like 27. Um, I wish that would work, but it wouldn't. Like, trust me. <laughs> that would be the dream. But the game just doesn't let you do that. 
Once they reach a certain age, it's almost impossible to get them out on loan. The only way that you can get them out on loan when they reach a certain point is when you, if you have to drop their playing time right down and hope that they then ask for a loan. And even then, I'd be surprised if they put a bid in. Because it's usually always European sides that bid on the players in those positions. Only once in this save have I managed to get a player out on loan like that. And that was um, LMS. To Haladash, ironically. Third joint bottom. Hang on, you're below me. And I just put a uh, an auto-pick team that has Cancelo in it. In it. Oh, Blaz, what a save again. Ah, oh, it's over the line. Chang. Oh, yeah, I remember Chang when it sponsored Everton. It's going good, Watto. I mean, it, as good as it can be today, um, <laughs> given what we have, given what happened last stream. But things today have done well. Just not for us, because we have nothing that we can do well in. But the other Hungarian sides are doing well. It's playing some quite nice football now. Slightly different lineup. But with a lot of the main guys at the front being the same. But again, Edvaldo looks... Actually, his rating in this game hasn't been particularly good, but... I can see him getting a chance or two. Oh, hey! That's some of the worst defending you'll ever see. Uh, as Blaz just... What a weird finish. Um, why did the defenders not bother? That was so very strange. That's a lovely pass from Patrice to Dala, but look at the defenders. They just stand there. Like, what, <laughs> what are they doing? Imagine us conceding... Permanent deal... I have no interest. Uh... It's not a case of reckon. I know. Um, permanent deal is not likely. They won't bid on him. They Basically, they will not bid on him. Hungar trying to sell the players to clubs in your league is like getting blood from a stone. It just doesn't happen um, when you're trying to do it. Sorry. It does happen occasionally, but not when you're trying to do it like forcibly. It will happen when they randomly will bid on a player sometimes, but they just won't. Like, for example, I was able to sell Kevin Griffiths to Kishvada, but that is a complete anomaly. Presumably because he decided he wanted to leave as well. Um, I'm surprised he actually took their contract, but they clearly had the cash. That's a nice pass as well. Who was that with the goal? Was that Urin again? Or was that Edvaldo? Oh, it was Edvaldo again. This man. He loves a cross. Well, yeah, I mean, actually, to be fair, the Kevin Griffith situation actually kind of really helped us. Because he was going to leave anyway. And yeah. Trouble loaning your players out to clubs in Hungary in second tier. Nope. Uh, not at all. Now, it could be because the players you're trying to loan are too good and don't want to go to the Hungarian second tier. But sometimes, because bear in mind, a lot of the players we're loaning to the second tier are not the highest quality of players. There'll be guys that we bring in specifically because they're going to be a loan farm player and never going to play for us. So that might be what it be. It could just be that the players you're trying to loan are too good and they won't want to drop down. But I've had no issues. We probably have about as many players in the second tier on loan as we do in the first tier. Like, try picking up some, like, three-star players potential wise for the second tier maybe and you'll find that they'll actually settle in quite nicely or occasionally you can get some really high potential but low ca guys to go on this for example we've got what probably our next big striker phenom if you like um she's saying now he's actually on loan in the second tier and he's very good but he probably had quite low ca although he didn't did he i don't know why maybe it's just because vashas are kind of good even 17 year olds well i mean 17 i believe is the youngest they can be right um, like, you'd often... But that's usually what it is. It's usually that the players are too good. Um, you really do have to be careful when scaling it. Uh, oh, I haven't made any subs for shit. Hey, Sean! Get Raposo off for... One area we're not having any problems with depth is the attacking midfield role. By any means. Uh, we're gonna Bali for a little bit. Since he's moved into the squad today, I might as well start him. Well, not start him, but like... No, we'll keep Edvaldo on, actually. I want to see what more he can do. Higher rep, more players joining the professional. Um, I don't know if it improves your rep. But I think more players will join you because some players, I think, like, a certain point want professional contracts. And if you can't offer it to them, they won't really talk to you, I think. I don't know, actually. It's been a while. The last time I did, like, a save where I wasn't at a professional side was probably Whitport. And that was FM20. I think it was FM20, actually. Yeah, I figured it'd be something like that. It's been quite a good performance. Again, no shots on target allowed either. It seems defensively very stable. A lot of shots on target for us, too. Possession was off the wazoo. Off the wazoo? Yeah, why not? Off the wazoo. Decent. I think we give it a thought. I'm happy to continue with it for the moment. I'm quite enjoying it, actually. I want to see... Was it Nordic Nomads? Oh, true. Yeah, you're right. The lower league part of that one. Yep, yeah, good point. Uh, Halash won again. I mean, they're... look at that. Look at the gap now. Yeah, we are going to kind of need that eighth team in Europe because I don't want to have Kishvada missing 
out on any kind of Europe this season. That could be catastrophic. Wait, hang on. Someone is going to anyway, aren't they? Because fucking Debrecen are going to miss out on it too. They're in the Champions League this year. Not making to make an offer on Halada. This is what I mean. Like, you can't even give them players. Plus, I think even if they'd agreed to that, I'm pretty certain our board would have cancelled the transfer anyway because they can step in and say that you're selling the player for too little money. It's like, don't they know what we're doing here? Tower has... I mean, it doesn't really head to the wire with nine points clear. Let's not be silly about this. Kekschmet, the fact that Kekschmet are fourth concerns me. I do not want them in the Champions League. Giamot would be fine, but Kekschmet in the Champions League would be catastrophic for us because they would get absolutely blasted. What the fuck? No fucking way. Are we just like accidentally producing actually good players lately? That's the that's three years in the row now that we've had a player that's now considered five stars come through our youth academy. Now, maybe he isn't actually going to be that good, but still, right? That's dope. Grotto was just cursed on a whole different level. He'll probably be back down the three stars again in a week, but it's nice to know that he was there. Because Feyage briefly hit five stars too. And ironically, Janosch has lost his five stars, even though I still think he's way better than the other two. Oh, no one remembers Osasuna. It didn't happen, I promise. Victor wants... Uh, I think Victor's much more central. He hasn't got any pace or crossing ability. So he'll be... Wait. Yeah. He wouldn't be a, a winger. Grotta... Yeah, that was just bizarre. That's the winger with no pace acceleration. Yeah, so I would never play him as a winger. He'd be an, an attacking mid. Which, with good composure and finishing, he actually could be okay there. But I'd never play him out wide. He'll get better acceleration and pace. But I couldn't see him having more than about 13, even at the peak of his career. Go on, Penny Roll. Ah. Gigliarelli is a good surname, though. Really like a bit of Gigliarelli. Victor will spend most of his life on loan. Yeah, pretty much. One of these days, I would like to have a successful save in Spain. Or at least a successful element of a Spain save. Like, maybe on the next Outcast of Icons, I could finally manage in Spain and have a modicum of success there. The Scorpio King! Thank you very much for the follow. Right, we'll rotate around again. I think Blaz is still good enough to start here. They've already got a nice little link building up there. We'll do... I guess Edvaldo's probably knackered, isn't he? Oh, no. Uh, he is a bit, actually. Maybe I'll try... Ooh. Ah, fuck it. We'll try Big Manovich. I'll give him a, a reprieve. Hey, Danny! So, so far, in two games playing this, we haven't conceded a goal or even a chance. So that's something. Oh. No team has had a shot on target against this yet. And we've scored a decent amount. Oh, we've scored five goals in two games. And the creativity's been around about spot on. Haven't managed to overperform yet or have any one of those games where you just pop off. Yeah, this is the Fluminense, uh, Fluminense Malmo tactic. Just testing it out. But from current opinion on it is that it's very, very strong defensively against many opponents. Uh, it's creative to a point. Um, it seems to really benefit from tall wingers. I feel like if, if we could have... Um, Mihal back on the other side with him and Edvaldo, maybe even swapping over. I wonder if that could be the real key to have those two really going at it. Because I think Mihal would give us that same option on the other side. But unfortunately, he's not going to be back until like the start of next season. Maybe even because he's, he's still only back into rehab now. Big Manovic. Reposo. Ooh, look, lots of bodies for Look at this little one-touch stuff. It's, oh, it's a long ranger. Simmed games is interesting. I find that the game handles... Then again, it's not too weird in terms of its tactical shape. So that might be the thing on our on our favour. I find that anytime you do a weird asymmetrical system or something that works really well in the match engine, whenever you try to sim games with it, it'll go to shit. Just see the right backless system, for example. Though I'm still not convinced that that was ever really that good. I just think our quality of opponents. Uh, Montiel's 35, I think. Going on 36. He's getting pretty close to it. So he's probably not got too many more seasons with us yet but we've got some good centre-backs coming through and one of them's bound to come back from a loan spell at some point soon too oh there we go Reposo around the side good finish big Manovic with a lovely assist that's a good bit of play plus we're also going to be doing Giamat a favour here by beating Kekschmet that would be very very important for us to actually get that win because hopefully it will send them onto a bit of a downward spiral and it can in theory push them back down I don't mind them being in the Europa League but I'd rather them not honestly they still don't have the depth yet They've not got the quality that I want. 
Right, come on, Thomas. Here we go. That's a very powerful header. They really are. Like, Dala is 36 now and still going strong. Although this season, he's played a little bit less. It's been more a case of he's had no choice but to play sometimes. That's a pass. No, no, it's not. <laughs> I thought that was much closer to him than it was. Uh, Chiclidi. Uh, who is that, Joe? Uh, I'll definitely look him up. Um, but if it's like a real player, then there's zero chance they're still in the game. Because I think there's only 13 real players left. And they're all Swedish, nearly. I'd love it if I could keep Dala and Monty around. Like, way later than we perhaps should do. Like, I want to see if we can keep them going at like 38. Still playing some league games as a rotation option or something. Blaz is in again. Oh, the cheek of it all. 41 goals for Blaz. It's been a while since we've had a player break the 40 goal barrier in a season. Oh, Hungarian side. Oh, nice. Not a team I've heard of, which suggests that they haven't spent any time in the second tier in this save, but you never know, because I don't tend to look too much at the bottom of the league. So remind me after the game, we'll have a look, because I don't think that... I don't think we've even played them in the cup, which is surprising, because I feel like we've played every lower league side in the cup, except for Fott, obviously. Okay, decent first half, much like the last one. It feels like this tactic seems to sort of pop off more in the second period. And they've actually had a shot on target against us too. So we're clearly getting weaker. Hey, Seagull. Uh, biggest thing that you've missed was uh, me having like a 15 minute stream outage where everything went to shit. But is for Europe, positivity. Excellent news. Um, Halad Asher in the semi finals of the Champions League. And Ferenc Farish in the semi finals of the Europa. Honestly, Casador, I prefer inside forwards, but I've also heard a lot about inside um, inverted wingers this year. But then when I tried them, they played like crap. But that might have just been the system that we had set up for them potentially. Oh, what a save from Cooper. And it depends on what the rest of the tactic is as well. That they have their own, like, yeah, I know I am. They are, they have their own pros and cons. Two semis, yep. We've got Halalash playing Real Madrid in the semifinals of the Champions League. And Ferenc Varos will face off against Villarreal in the semifinals of the Europa League. And I genuinely think that Halalash have a chance. They beat PSG 4-1. They beat Milan 5-2. Like, <laughs> they are genuinely excellent. However, the lack of Zivkovic now with his major injury I think is going to be what stops them from possibly going to the final but you never know right you never know maybe they'll pull off two absolute miracles against Real Madrid weirder things have happened like Jimot won at Old Trafford uh the rankings going well with oh nice I think we're actually third on the year but we're very very close with England so it's not too bad is that gonna be given it is Nice. Do you know if there's a train coming anytime soon? Uh, oh, yeah, OG! Ex uh, yeah, Suke, thank you very much for the follow. That was a nice bit of football, actually. Raposa just sort of lofts that over the top, and that's some finish from Durin. Just on the chest, pops it out wide, 42 goals for the season. But yeah, coefficient is okay. We really want, though, second spot again this year in the coefficient. That way, we get that extra team in Europe, because it'll allow Kishvada in, because we need them in Europe. They've done poorly in the league this year, but they're clearly way better than the teams above them. And they probably should have gone further in the Champions League, really. I'm a bit disappointed in them, really. We'll get Rolf in as well. Oh, my God. Fifi Fofum. I smell a 28-month resub. How's it going, man? Hope you're well. I always pause after that because I'm always expecting a random sub message now. Uh, we'll get Edvaldo back in for the last part of this game. It is nice seeing strikers finish chances. Very true. Um, it's a shame that Blast couldn't do that against Inter when it actually mattered. Bro was completely incapable of doing it. I still can't believe he put in two of those, uh, your own team. Uh, what do you mean? Like, did I, is it like a creator club? If so, no. Um, um, I have done that before, but no. And not, certainly not using the FM creator club thing, because that for me is utterly pointless, <laughs> sadly. Fondly, Joe. Thank you very much for the five months, man. It's very kind of you, sir. Hope you're well. I forgot I had this smile. Well, now I've got it. Smile. And thank you. That's very, very kind. Hmm. It's not been as good today, but the possession is still very high. And Durin's look really good. Raposo's been fantastic, though. Goal, two assists. The problem with the creative club thing in the actual game is that it doesn't give you as many features as just doing it in the editor. What team? We're MTK Budapest. I Bechaz or, or I Bechaz or I Bechaz. Thank you very much for the follow, though. As Carpenu puts another the line for 4-0. Edvaldo now with an assist. Carpenu's had a hell of a second half of the year, given that he's had to play virtually every game because of all the winger injuries. And he's done well. Despite me saying this is like one of our worst performances, this is actually the best we've played in terms of actual goal scoring output since we switched this. So that's three games, no goals conceded. I wonder if we played this from the start next year in the league, if we could go like a ridiculous defensive season. 
Can't understand. I'm sorry, my friend. Um, have you considered listening faster? The semis are going on the following week. Haven't tested simming. We can sim it um, in the next match because we've got like the two games coming up anyway. I'm just too powerful. Uh, yeah, there's now a two point gap and a goal difference gap, which is good. GMOT just don't fail me now. Although that being said, if we do get the eighth team in Europe, Kex better love in Europe anyway, <laughs> which is the last thing we need. But there you go. Right, yeah, so the games are midweek. We've already got them set to like um, a 10, so that should be fine. Let me just do that look up too. I'm curious about them now. I'm also curious if I could spell correctly. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, yeah, they have actually. What am I talking about? They've been in the second tier loads. Oh, no, they haven't. Not in the save. The last time they were in the second tier in real life was in um, 2019. So, no, they've never been promoted in this save. <coughs> oh, dear. Which went to the third tier, never to return, apparently. That's a shame. I figured at some point they would have just randomly ended up in the second tier. Everyone usually does. Although I haven't really paid too much attention to the sides that are coming up and down a lot of the time. But there we go. How far did you get with them, Joe? So yeah, these are the two Champions League games midweek. Sorry, the, the two European games midweek. Todd Campbell, ah, the old Kazinch Barsica Highway. We'll sim it in the game against Honvid. That'll be our little test. To see what it does like in the sim thing. That'd be quite a cool tactic to use in the league next year, maybe. To see if we can try and set some records. I still don't think I'd want to use it in the Champions League. Just because I didn't create it. And it sounds stupid, but I don't know. It doesn't feel the same. Tianjin. Ooh, what, in is that China? Jury won a game. Spartacus might not actually be safe yet. It's like a second. Screwed, obviously. Uh, they're doing very well, Marco. Um, Hamalash are in the semis, and French Farish are in the semis, which does kind of track with the fact that they're in the uh, top two spots beyond us this year. The top two, as if we are completely unattainable. Although, frankly, we kind of have been lately. I think we're closing in on 20 straight league titles, so there's that. I think one more year, maybe, because I think we won it season three, did we not? I don't think I've ever managed to develop concerns. What? Buddy, you've been injured for five months. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> How about you take on a new challenge of not being injured for five months? Abdullah Compost. Wait, what? Which club? Which club? Are these guys? Oh, Christ. Where am I looking? They beat PSG. Yeah, they beat them 4-1. Absolutely hammered them. Where was Abdullah Compo? Oh, my notifications. But but which notification? There's so many notifications. I'm trying to work out which player you meant. This one? Player of the week. Oh, player of the week. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that would have been funny. We did find a team. There actually is a team called Compost. Uh, obviously not Compostella. There is a... This stuff. These guys. Suez Compost FC. Go Compostare. <laughs> and the singing's back. How has this happened? It's because Kim sang okay. Now the rest of us are doomed. Whole team meeting. Absolutely not. It's a trap. Never do it. Right, here we go. Haladash Real Madrid. Ah, FM, if you want to make it up to me after what you did to us, just continue to help Halalash. Please, I beg of you. I do like watching games in their stadium on European nights. So they have got Lopez up front. Interesting that Persegona's going out onto the left this time, but Pavoni and Guevara are both amazing. Ivanov's in there. Husseini, Riesem playing as a centre-back? That's odd. Oh, no. They've got a centre-back with two jumping reach. Michael Kemper's going to score a header. They have a centre-back with two jumping reach. <sighs> like, honestly, if they were against us, we would murk them. They better hope they keep the ball on the ground. That's all I can say. I think this might be where their journey ends. I think without Harris and up without Ayala as well. Because they're missing both um, Harris, Zivkovic and Ayala, two of their best players. And that's probably going to cost them. That Look at him! It's like he's on a, a day out with his dads. 
Although he's a hell of um, how do we get eliminated? Um, into clap. Sorry, into didn't clap. We clapped into over two legs, but they scored some ridiculous goals, uh, and we missed every single chance imaginable. Our um double Ballon d'Or winning striker uh put in two back-to-back -back games with a six rating. <laughs> so you know, oh, the semi-final is Chelsea versus Atletico. I think I think it's Atletico. Okay. Four MTK players. I think it's only just Haladash. Oh, it's Inter. Yeah, of course it's Inter, isn't it? Because they beat Atletico. Oh, it's so annoying because Inter are not good. They only scraped past Atleti, who were not very good themselves. A team that we regularly win fight. We've won like 6 0 at the Wanda Metropolitano like one, like two seasons ago. Nice interception. Right, go on. One thing I will say is Haladash are not looking outclassed here. They're looking very much in this game, but they've got to be careful. Because as the home team, we expect them to try and win. I think if they go to Real Madrid without winning, it's... Mm, I don't know, that was a bad touch. It's certainly nowhere near as good as it was against PSG. Right, that's fine. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. As long as it's going to be a penalty, isn't it? Go on. Oh, Boateng. Okay. Real Madrid, I've had a few shots, but it's still been kind of even. They've not really created anything concrete yet. But then neither of uh, Halalash. And Guevara is looking kind of knackered as well. Like, Real Madrid are the better side so far, but it's been a game of very, very poor quality. And I think it's going to be about the changes. That's going to be the key. Reesom's having a dreadful game. I get the feeling this is just going to be one of these games that finishes 1-0 to Real Madrid, when eventually the... It, they must be shooting from distance to not be rocking up much. Oh, wait, hang on. Was, oh, yeah, they've not got Vorgan either. I didn't even notice that. That's why he was moved out wide, because they're missing Ayala, Vorgan, and Harris. They're literally missing their three best players, other than maybe some of the defensive players. That does mean that he's probably going to be fit for the second leg. Oh, no, look at the space. What a save from Boateng. Right, here we go. Kvaman and Fidel are on. They've taken off Guevara and Ben Salah. I got on the bench too. Maybe he's just come back, but he's still not got the full match fitness yet. So maybe he'll come off the bench in this game. Maybe if they could just get to the second leg with some of those guys in the team and then maybe try and take them on. The problem is, you know, the home game is where the points can be made in the Champions League, I feel like. I think their only hope is to like, try and sneak a 1-0 winner here. Although Ilunga's just gone off for Real Madrid. So an injury for them for once. Okay, Real have switched to a back five. Which could actually end up being bad. Although usually a back five for an AI team is actually a, is a good thing when you're against them. Anyway, here we go. Oh, no. Lopez has looked meaningless through the middle, sadly. Oh, no. There it is. <gasps> Offside. It might well be the smallest. I don't know. Didn't Monaco once play in the Champions League semi? Their stadium is very small. In fact, Monaco, yeah, because they got to the final against Porto when Mourinho was manager, didn't they? Unless they had a different stadium back then. Maybe there wasn't even... Yeah, he's oh, it's only just off, but he is off. Okay, 10 minutes to go. I think maybe just get through with the nil-nil and hope for an absolute miracle at the Bernabeu. Oh, no. Or get an injury to Michael Kemper or something. But don't concede now. If they concede now... Okay. When it's, oh, they did, didn't they? Yeah. So I think Monaco must be the smallest stadium to have played in the set, to have had a semi-final in recent years. Uh, that was a weird highlight. I guess because the ball kind of went near the net, it counted. Although this highlight doesn't see... Oh, God, it's still continuing. Come on, Halash. Get a nil-nil. Just gives us hope for the second leg. Oh, Christ. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Go on. Yes, go on, lads. Forward. Uh, that's actually, no. I mean, second half, they got a lot worse. No shots on target at home. They just stymied Real Madrid. The hope that they've got now is just that they can maybe get Ayala back, get Vargan back for the second leg. They're never going to have Harris. Lopez actually played... Oh, that was the... Yeah, Lopez did all right, apparently. It's... It's not a defeat. That's something. And it's more coefficient point to keep us in the hunt. They're not dead. I still have, like, positivity. Harris got um, a knee ligament injury in the first leg against Paris Saint-Germain. Rejected in Norway? Wait, that never happened for me. 
Because in Norway, work permits are allowed, I believe, as long as they consider the player to have, like, high potential, like, which is completely not explained in the game. But we never had a single one turned down the entire time. That's mad. How bad was this player? Right, so coefficients. We go back above England by a little bit of a gap now. Four. We're still looking like a 20-point season is on the cards. It would only take one... It would only take Farrakh Farish to not lose both legs. <laughs> He's hoarding all the Micronesian talent. Yeah, we've got a guy called Ishtvan Kish. That's, I assume, the guy you're referring to. Scouting update. We'll save that for the next one. Oh, I know. That's what I'm thinking, Mar but thing is, Marco, as well. If we hadn't lost, we were on the other side of the draw, meaning that we would have been in a position to have an all-Hungarian final because we'd have gone against Atletico and we'd have clapped them because we'd have had our players back. And then we'd have played against Chelsea, who aren't really that good at the moment. And we'd have potentially had an all-Hungarian final. So this one I'm going to sim so we can see what um what magic it comes up with when we put it through the old uh, the simulation setup. Just as a test. Would you reckon maybe put Lorival in behind Rep where Raposo is, perhaps? Try him out. Although he will probably get injured because Lorival seems to come back and immediately get injured every time the man is available. We should just call him Sick Note from now on. Oh, right. Edvaldo did do very well. True. I wouldn't be surprised if he scores again in this one. He's just a very good player, in fairness to him. Watch us concede now. Blas missed a penalty. Lorival played appallingly. Uh, where the hell is Edvaldo? Oh, no, he's got a seven. Not our finest display. Still good defensively. Sorry, still good attacking-wise, but to actually concede a goal, I suppose it was Beng Sword. And bear in mind, Beng Sword, look at the state of him. He's actually a ridiculous striker. Not quite, you know, Harry Zivkovic level or anything, but he's a genuinely excellent player now. Right, into Chelsea. This is their first leg, isn't it? See what I mean? Chelsea are not very good. If this Inter side can beat them, I will be so pissed if Inter go to the Champions League final and they... Although, if Inter get there and they're playing Halalash, I reckon Halalash are better than Inter. So... But I think they would lose to Chelsea. So in a way, we actually kind of want Inter to go. Because when did Inter come? Inter came 11th. Chelsea came 8th. So Inter are not a bad side. But, I mean, look. Giamot finished above them. <laughs> Gutters and Arcap, thank you very much for the follow. But let's also not forget that Kishvada got knocked out by Shakhtar. So, we can't have nice things. Right, Ferenc Faros versus Virial. Helps the coefficients. True, it does. Yes, of course. Although, actually, yeah, it does because Italy are clearly going to be number one this year. And we don't really need to finish number one, just not number two. Sorry, just not number three. And if Chelsea went out, only Newcastle would be left. And they're playing Ajax today. So let's find out. So Ferenc Faros Villarreal. One thing I didn't check was where Villarreal came in the group. So I don't know what kind of quality level they're at. Have they got any former players of ours? Do you know, I genuinely don't think they do. And they've got no manager, which will help. And Ferenc Faros, of course, have got the uh, Kishvada manager now. Which might explain their upturn in form. But it is the home leg first again. I prefer it when they have the home leg second. But it worked for them last time. They were able to beat Napoli fairly comfortably. Oh, look at that. Faffy's just digging in. Oh, look at him go. Okay, he's been... Presumed oh, that looked like a foul to me, but sure. They've got bodies swarming all over the place. Faffy looks like he's got real energy to him. Oh, God, this is going to be a tap in, isn't it? Fuck's sake. Okay. Europa League theme is, is far superior, isn't it? Like, not even in the same class. Hey, Dan. Well, that's not ideal. Um, thank God there's no away goals, I suppose. Not a lot the keeping do about that. Fathy just held onto the ball for too long. He needs to release that pass through the middle to Silva much faster than that. Uh, apparently, there's a game in the... Hang on. The last thing we need is Halalash losing to De in there. Although, if it means they're resting players, then by all means, carry on. It is just nice. You're right. No, I agree. Oh, go on, Canahan. Right, he's got width. Yeah, oh, that's a strange choice. Uh, very bizarre cho choices there, but it is one all. Serbe Kotewa. Serbe Kar Karakalic has been amazing for Ferenc Varos in Europe. They do look really good, though. I really like the way that Ferenc Varos are pressing. 
They look like at any moment they could win the ball off of Vera out. This pass here from Canahan is absolutely wild. I don't know what he's thinking with that, but he clearly knew what was about to happen because that is a really composed finish from Serbe. Oh. It does feel like they can keep winning the ball off of Villarreal high up the pitch, though. And that's what they're going to have to do. I think there's going to be a lot of counter-attacking given the amount of possession they don't have. Seems to me like they're going to have to rely on the break quite a bit. Also, that uh, Debrecen have won that game. That's actually official. Uh, so we want Europa League. I want to keep an eye on the Newcastle Ajax scoreline. I think I'd rather than play... Well, actually, we want Ajax to win because that would prevent England from getting more points and would keep us in second spot. And it would basically... If Ajax win that, I think it would basically require Chelsea to win the Champions League to have any chance. And even then, I don't know if they'd be able to overtake them. Oh, measure head. Go on, buddy. Have a pop. Nah, wasteful. Still, it's been quite an even game. But French Farish are having a lot more shots as the game's wearing on. Uh, can I see the... Yeah. So basically, Villarreal had one big chance in this match. Whereas French Farish are popping away with like little opportunities here and there. They seem like the team that are in control. Also, the possession stat has gone massively back into French Farosh. They've really been hauling back the possession over the game. I think if they can get like a 2-1, that might be enough for them to go to the second leg and hang on. I really like Fathy as well. Other than his mistake for the goal, but he looks decent. Ooh. Wait, is that a red? <gasps> it's a red. Here we go. Red card for Villarreal. Let's go. Watch, them, watch nothing happen now. This is your chance, French Farage. You've got half an hour to make this count. Send the dirty git off! <laughs> uh, let me move that back across again. Oh, I can totally see. Oh, Ajax are 3-0 up at Newcastle. And now they've got an injury, but our fourth player, Agent Boyer with the goals. They've actually seemingly got worse as this game's worn on. Like, they've been the better side, but they're going to get nothing for it other than a point. Come on, one last chance. McCabe's now injured as well. An injury as well for Villarreal. Seven minutes of stoppage time. Wow, you don't see that very often in FM. Oh, here we go. Come on. 2-1 in stoppage time would be gorgeous. No! <sighs> they should have won that game. 25 shots. <sighs> Villarreal did nothing in this game other than that goal, pretty much. It gives me hope, but I'm also worried. Although, a red card for the man, an injury. Mm. Yeah, we know they're going to get fucked in Spain. That hopefully isn't going to cost Halalash too much in terms of... Uh, also, it's just won us the title. Um, <laughs> that was what gave us the title. Well, at least the border... We oh, true club legend. Well, thank you. Club favorite, Brown and Silver. You're not a club favorite. Go away. Bound for the second leg, like, true, but he might not be that of much. I don't know. I mean, they played really well, but I'm very concerned that that second leg, they should have at least won the first leg 2-1. Like 2-1 and we're happy. I feel, I fancy them to go to the second leg and not lose, but I don't trust them to do it on pens or something. Oh, bloody hell. But it's more coefficient points. 19 point. No, so we're over 20 now. So we're still a full point, full half point ahead of England. That's the key. Newcastle losing is great. Chelsea only narrowly... No, Chelsea lost as well, didn't they? So we've gapped England a little bit more. I'm not sure what it will actually take for us to guarantee uh, second for the year. I mean, Newcastle going out would be helpful. And they're in a good spot. They lost at home as well, so it's not like it's... Uh... But I can still see them turning it around, but to go to Amsterdam and win, it's going to take some, some effort there. Might actually sim the Giamot game too, honestly. So we can get to these other games that matter way more. Yeah, if both English teams are out, we're, f we're fine. And I think if Newcastle go out, Chelsea would have to win the Champions League. Probably. Because Chelsea will most likely win their second leg against Inter. Probably. If they don't win that, then I think we're fine. Uh, do it again. And... Carpenter probably doesn't want to start this one. Edvaldo might need a rest. Uh, Janos! Yeah, but what? I completely forgot about old Janosch. Poor sod. Actually, I'll start him on the right. Sorry, on the left-hand side. Because he's a bit more comfortable there. First to go, Yes, that is the goal. Yeah, England having a bad season and we balls it up the same year. Like, if we were still in Europe and hadn't had the horrendous luck that the other Hungarian... Like, Kishvada, <laughs> Kishvada should have beaten Shakhtar. Giamot 
Probably should have beaten Milan, but they'd have gone out to Halalash anyway. But there's still more points there. Kexmet should have at least got past Partizan. Honvi should have got past Sporting easily. Like, we really should be looking at, like, a 25-point season. But that, that's how it goes, right? That's the trials and tribulations of these types of saves, is you're going to have to put up with things like this happening sometimes. But I would happily sacrifice it all if it means that Halalash goes so far. Uh, have you changed the teams you've managed to then... Hang on, sorry, what? Hang on. So have you changed the teams you've managed to then all better? I'm not sure I understand the question, but um, I'm only managing MTK. Ooh, that was narrow as well. Doesn't seem to do quite so well in the simmed games. But Halash winning... Oh, wait. That'll at least get their um, morale back up again. My, my hope is that they have the right players back for the second leg. At least have... They need to have Vorgan back. He's probably outside of Zhivkovic, their best player. He truly... I, I, I realise talk, I've talked about him loads today without ever actually showing you him. Uh, this is him. Look, look at that. This is him. What a player. I mean, he is world class. He's worth 275... How have they got a player that's... what? That's ridiculous. We've never had a player that's got that kind of value before. Yet an AI club in our league does. Yeah, we managed them to get from the very start. That's mental. I mean, glad. But also, why don't ours have values like that? Uh, second nationality. I believe he actually doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's wanted. Oh, yeah, he's wanted by everyone. But remember, I've got him on the short list. So the plan is, if someone comes in to try and bid on him, we're going to bid them up. And then either they go for an absurd amount of money or he agrees to join us and we then cancel the deal. So he stays at Halalash. That's our plan. Another injury. Is he one of the, is he a face in the game? That is the big question. I don't think he is. I reckon he's oh what you reckon because he's not got the second nationality. Maybe actually, yeah. Millennium with the 36 months. That's three years, my friend. How are you? Card. I'm Card. a Liverpool fan. This guy said, oh, Lavia debacle has left me hurt and confused. Right now, I just want someone to hold me and tell me that everything is going to be okay. Then maybe, if it feels right, and both parties can send a sly handy. Who knows? Sly handy was very important there, Melania. I hope you're well, my friend. Not just stealing. Well, we can't really steal him. We can't afford him. We can't afford to pay that kind of cash for a player. Like, the idea is either they get a moon money amount of money that they can then spend on other players, and we'll just, yeah. Or that's what we'll do. Yeah, we're plotting. We, we be plotting. We got to. Like, there's very few situations that we've actually prepared for like that. So, for example, say we got to a Champions League final against another Hungarian side, we would octo track it and hopefully they would beat us because the value of them winning it over us would be massive because they would instantly get five-star reputation, which would improve the players they're able to sign and would make them an absolute world beater. Same way that um, when they won the Europa League, they all went to a uh, continental rep. It's massive. And bear in mind, if we're in an all-Hungarian final, the coefficient points wouldn't matter who wins the final because you get the same no matter what. That's the beauty of it. And our board wouldn't care about us losing the final. Uh, that doesn't really work. I need to remove that. Just the right amount of corruption. It's wholesome corruption. It's fine. Right, Chelsea Inter. Okay, first test. Come on. I reckon Chelsea will win. Oh! Second spot, boys. Inter or into the Champions League. This is what I mean. This could have been us so easily. This is a shit Inter team. They're not very good. And I'm, I've got a real beer in my bonnet about this because this could have easily been us. We'd have waltzed our way through these mugs. But nevertheless, with the World Cup. No, there's nothing to do with the World Cup. We're trying to get hungry to the top of the coefficient chart on the European League. So the best league in Europe, basically. We're currently second. So we're doing all right with that. But England is very hard to catch. But what I will say is it does look like England's like seventh place team that goes into the Conference League have not been looking as fiery lately. So if they could start maybe not getting to the groups and getting some bad draws, that could maybe help us. But they're not always going to draw a Montpellier. That's the problem. Like with any luck, I reckon our team could probably take them now. Uh, national team are not doing anything, basically. They've got worse. I think the last time we checked, they were like 69th. Uh, might even be lower now. 72nd. They're just on a standard decline under Danny Cowley. Okay. Well, that explains a lot. Uh, he's gone from being Pompey manager to Hungry manager. Yeah, I mean, bear in mind, we're not trying to do anything with the national team, so I couldn't care less if they struggle. Um, you'd expect them to do better, though, considering the amount of players that they've like, nationalized. Sorry, nationalized? Naturalized. Most of the team is, hung is Brazilian. 
They just chose the wrong ones, apparently. Okay, here we go. Always does insanely well. Yeah, literally. That's why I was so happy when I saw that Leeds had gone out to uh, Montpellier. Good teams. Um, I'd say we've probably got seven, eight. Maybe seven. Seven really good teams. Eight at a push, but Kekschmet aren't amazing, as we saw from their Conference League performance this year, where they were very subpar. Kim Sang okay? Oh. Right. Okay. Second leg. Real Madrid, Halavash. Let's go. These lineups are going to be so important to see. Come on, Halavash. Who's in there? Shit. No Ayala. No Vorgan. In fact, Vorgan's not even on the bench. And weirdly, Ivanov isn't starting either. Oh, no, he is on, he is on the bench. He is on the bench. Sorry, I don't really can't see. He is on the bench, as is Ayala, as is Ivanov. So they've got their three guys, but they're, they're likely bench options here. But on the plus side, they don't have um, a five foot three centre back. They've got Kvaman, who is, albeit nine jumping reach, but he's a much better defender. And Nimoera, who's actually really good. So I'm still not convinced, but at the very least, it's like a slightly better lineup. Uh, it's the um, Z-Gens, uh, Retro Monkey Nuts. Yeah, but no Bobby in the starting 11, which is interesting. Unfortunately, Gacic is in goal, and I'm concerned about that. Right, here we go. Preitzel in the back line too. Don't do this to me. Come on, Andre. You don't need to win the Champions League this year. Give it a rest. Let's go. Come on. Where's Kamavinga? Uh, probably about 40 years old. <laughs> Watch him score in like the first minute of the game. It has to be somewhere. Um, he's probably retired because we're in season 23 of the save. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, for God's sake. Hey, look, it's the second phase of a set piece goal. Just the way you want to concede a goal. Oh well. I hate those goals. Watch the way that the defenders don't get back. Basically, so the reason, my biggest issue with the second phase of set-piece goals is because the players still treat this like it's a set-piece. So once the ball is in play and it's active, it'll be played out to the wing, but they will all still stand in the middle as if they're waiting for a set-piece to come in. It's completely broken, and I can't believe that the entire year no one, they've not tried to fix that. It's mad. Look, no one will push out. They'll just stand there. And even when he does push out, what's he doing? It's so annoying to see those goals. Hopefully they'll get one of their own, though. If I'm honest, I reckon this is 1-0 in the end. I really hope that goal isn't what knocks Halash out of the Champions League. That would really suck. But, unfortunately, they're not looking too sharp themselves. Real Madrid are kind of just doing what they did in the first leg, which is just... Oh, no. Have shots. Yeah, it was probably last year, but it's been particularly bad this year. And it just feels like something that... Has to, it can't? How did that get past? Oh, I don't know, it's penalty time or something, isn't it? Oh come! I oh, don't never mind. Uh, they're not going to do anything when the when the goals like that are going in. That's a shame, isn't it? They've tried. Like, how is that a goal? How is that going in? He's practically on the byline. That's their left. By the way, this is their left back with the outside of his foot, outside of his right foot. Ah. Uh. Never mind, eh? It's a shame. Uh, but unfortunately, the lack of quality that Halalash now have in their team is showing. Yeah, Debel does another face in the game. Yeah. Ah, oh, dear. That's a good point. Like, we could actually end up in a situation where second is still wrapped up even if we don't progress. I mean, clearly... Hammer Lash are not going through. They'll probably get hammered like 5 0 here out of nowhere. Wow, a post hit. Oh. Yeah, I think it's just, I mean, England's. Woo. I'm honestly waiting for Hallash to even have a shot in this game. They've just not looked up for it at all. They've got to get substitutions on. They need to get Vorgan and Ayala. All those guys need to be on the pitch right now because they're just not creating enough. I feel like Pavone is so much better when he's got Vorgan on the left-hand side with him. And then it allows uh, Persegona to play in the middle. Yeah, Vorgan is on the bench. 
So I was like, oh, they need to get Vorgan onto the left, move uh, Persegona to the middle, and that seems to light up Pavoni. But also with the lack of Harrison behind. Then again, they've still beat PSG in the second leg 2-0 without having Harris in the team. So clearly they can still play well. But I think the lack of Ayala and Vorgan has been what's really cost them. Why did he stand still there? It's because he knew he was going to clear it. Bro's thinking ahead. I just want to see them have a shot now. I'm going to celebrate a shot of theirs like a goal, except I'm a bit concerned about the keeper's positioning here. Oh. I feel like last year, that would have been a guaranteed goal, basically. I'd hate if they didn't have a single shot in this game. This is why I was so hoping that the first leg would go better. Because they were actually okay-ish in the first leg. I just want to see him have a shot. Like, 63 minutes now. Come on, lads. Can you please make a... At least a shot. It's still only 2-0. If they get a goal back here, maybe there's hope of something... A miracle emerging. But... They, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Pfft, what a save. What a save from Boateng. I actually can't believe he's missed that. Holy shit, what a stop. I d How did he miss the follow-up as well? Did he try to do that poke thing? They're not going to have a single shot in this game, are they? This is embarrassing. And... Oh. Wow. Cheers, FM. Great game. What a game. What what a magical game where you're in a semi-final of the Champions League and you don't have a shot. That's totally makes it... Oh, well. They were missing most of their best players. Didn't bring them on either, from what I could tell. Okay, French Farish, you're our only hope. So that's no hope in the Champions League, at least. Um, They don't get any bonuses for that, do they? Wait, hang on. Did they? No, they didn't, do did they? What's Pog saying? Uh, boom. Okay, well, that's annoying, but I think that... Oh, England are still... How did they get so much of a boost for that? Newcastle lost and Chelsea drew. So how did England go from 19.5 to 19.8 with Chelsea drawing a game? Am I missing something here? They've gotten like 0.3 coefficient points off of a draw i'm okay steak bake i'm just a bit confused right now bonus for getting there isn't a bonus for getting knocked out the bonus is you don't get any points well we've never had a bonus for getting knocked out i don't understand that there's only two english sides left in it chelsea are out and they got a draw and lost the first leg newcastle lost the first leg so how have they gained 0 0.3 when they have eight teams in europe a, bear in mind, a win for us is still like 0.2 at this stage, I think. That doesn't make any sense. We maybe we'll have to check the VOD. Maybe I misread what England had last time. Maybe they didn't have 19.5. Uh, maybe they had like 19.7 and I just misread it. A draw is points to the coefficient. Yeah, but it's not 0 0.3 points, is it? <laughs> Two win from one for a draw. Yeah, but not in the overall coefficients, it's not. <laughs> It still has to be diluted. Zanko, thank you for the three months. Sick hard. You, like, you don't get two coefficient points for a win in the overall coefficient. That would be ridiculous. Otherwise, they would have gone up to like 21.1 or whatever. Um, they'll get, if it's two points for a win, they'll get it divided by eight. So they'll get like... And also, they didn't win. They drew. So if they got one point divided by eight, they should have got like 0 0.133 or something. So yeah, I don't know how they managed to gain 0.3x.3 .3 in the coefficient off of one draw. Well, 2, 0 0.25 is a win, but they didn't win. They drew. That's the that's the thing. Because they had eight teams in Europe, so it divides it by eight. So I don't know how... Maybe they just had... It's probably me, because I'm guessing they just didn't have the correct... I must have misread the number that they had. Maybe they had 19.7 uh, and not 19.5. Uh, but I thought they had 19.5 before that. And there was literally no more matches other than the Chelsea game. Because Newcastle haven't played yet. And they lost anyway, so they wouldn't have gained any points. So yeah, that's a good point. So Newcastle, we know what the coefficient is now. So it was 19.8 something, wasn't it? And Newcastle are playing. 
But I know for a fact that we've never gained bonus points for getting knocked out because we've been knocked out a fair amount. Based on your calculations, it does. <laughs> I'd love to see your working out. We have 20.1. Yes, but we only have French Farish left. Yeah, true. Points for winning and losing ties, not individual matches. No, no. It's the points are awarded for the, the matches, not the ties. There's, um, you only, for example, if you draw both legs, you only get draws, technically. Say you went through on like penalties or whatever. Yes, Pog, I saw it, but I can't respond to you because I'm streaming. <laughs> oh, nearly. Wow, they got, would you like to play, push some players forward, maybe? There we, again, it works. It's all part of the plan. Ignore me. They know what they're doing, clearly. Like, they're in, no, never mind. The numbers do confuse me sometimes because I just, I'm trying to work out how that makes sense, but, but if it, oh. What I will say is if it is just to have found out like that, that would explain why England are always at the top because they're just given random points, apparently. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's some explanation for it. I just can't fathom what it could be. Very Farish are playing very well again. Which is going to make it all the more annoying when they inevitably lose this tie. It's going to be fine, Basil. We'll, we'll survive. <laughs> oh, Shimmel Penning is actually starting a game. I think that's an omen chat. Not always a good omen, but an omen nevertheless. So they've hit the woodwork already. They look like the better side, uh, which means this is a goal, presumably, off the rest of this play. Oh, terrible touches. Okay, I'm liking... They're very good at actually playing out from the back. I'm just worried about them losing possession in this position because there's not a lot of options for his passing. I actually give up with this game. They battered them in the home leg. They scored their only opportunity in it, just like that happened in the um, that other game. What is the goalkeeper doing there, by the way? Not point not six. That one was. So it's they've not even created a. Oh, I don't know. The fact that this seems to happen against to everyone except us, like in, sorry. The fact that this happens to even other Hungarian sides in Europe is weird to me. <laughs> like, is this like programmed in the game? It's just like, you have a vested interest in this, therefore... Is it because our lone players play for them, maybe? <laughs> Fonseca, thank you very much for the follow. And again, great play again from Canahan. He's done a fantastic job at just winning the ball, but he's just going to shoot from range here, isn't he? Yep. Ajax are doing their thing, so at the very least, we'd probably still get second. But... I hate the fact that every time Canahan wins the ball off of them, he just runs to the edge of the box and then just yeets it. Rather than actually trying to build up a nice bit of football. Watch this be for this be their only shot of the game on target or something. Because Ferenc Farish have done well. Yeah, I mean, we tried watching it. It does feel like... Then again, we watched the Halalash Tigers PSG as well, and they won very well in that too, so... Happens much when you don't. Oh no, the reason we started attending is because it was happening constantly. Oh, fuck off! Oh, I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> hey! I'm no longer sick of it. Oh, oh, thank you, Fonseca. Welcome in, friend. Uh, you get a little sneak preview of what to expect in the next one. Nonsense. Um, okay, we'll take it. <sighs> It's still not going to be enough, I suspect. I could see just Ferenc Farish not scoring in the rest of this match. But, God, Canahan. That man's like a raptor. Oh, that's a, a naughty little tackle there. Right, look at the run back inside. Please, please, pass it. Pass it. Oh. Oh, as if. This game is actually dog shit. I'm sorry. The amount of times they hit the post is just unbelievable. Right, come on, let's try again. Or just give the ball away while standing there. Right, he's got it back. It's fine. They had to lose it to win it. Because he's going to give me a heart attack. Silver! Yes! And it's actually going to be given. Come on. Joaquin Silver. Whacking it in. Get in there, Joaquin. Justice. Oh. I'll tell you what. If nothing else, I'm enjoying myself. 
<laughs> it's a lovely pass from Measurehead. No keeper saving that one. Bang. Come on. Hell of a tie. It's two all on aggregate. And Ferenc Farage are in the ascendancy. They are the better side. They were the better side in the first leg. They should have won. Whoa. <laughs> that was a bit vibey. Come on. I genuinely am. Like, it sounds stupid, but I actually kind of enjoy it when it's like this still. As long as you come out the right side of it, it's still enjoyable. Like, I'm going to enjoy the shit out of next season. All right, after Newcastle game. After the Newcastle first leg, England had 19.562 coefficient points, which means Chelsea during the second leg somehow awarded them double points. Which is great. Because Chelsea, they got the equivalent of a win for beating, for drawing against Inter, despite the fact that they drew the game and not won. So basically, we how are we supposed to beat England when it's literally cheating? Ah, <laughs> oh, hang on, here we go. So this was pre-Chelsea draw. Uh, where am I looking here? Wait. Oh, oh fuck me, yeah, so. So yeah, pre-Chelsea draw, they had 19.562. Chelsea then draw. And they shoot up to... Which one is which one is England? Um, top one. Oh, so they gained. Basically, they gained more than they should have done. Hey, Don Max Max Max. Really good players. The league is this enough? Uh, need to do something more. Uh, well, that that's that's what you're supposed to do. That's all you really can do is just keep loaning young players to the league. No, nope, it, it updates instantly. The moment you're out of the game days, the, it updates. Um, okay, Mixity, thank you very much for the follow. So yeah, Chelsea drawing, the game counted it as a win. And it awarded England winning points for drawing a game. So this would explain how England seemed to stay on top when they're being awarded wins for draws in the coefficients. That's good, isn't it? Um, I wonder how many times that's happened. <laughs> Corruption of the highest order, chat. God. It's going to make it even more of a um, a success when we have it. Oh, Mancini has gone too deep. He's going to... Sh oh, he's scared! Oh, oh, that really hurt my shoulder, but not the part of it that was already hurt. On loan, um, we have 172 players on loan. What a finish. Villarreal nil, Ferenc Farosh won. What a pass this is from Measurehead. He's provided both... Look at the angle on this from Mancini. That is filth. Honestly, what, a, what an angle. Um, the obligation thingy, I think you'll struggle with because a lot of the time they won't agree to it. I mean, they deserve this. Both legs, they've been the better side. And they are going to the final. Ferenc Farage to the Europa League final. And they will face Ajax, who are completely beatable. That is massive. Absolutely enormous. Oh. Super weak tacking. Yes, uh, they are. And also, Farage, have you noticed the bit when they go around the goalkeeper, it's a clear open net, and then it's so weak that they always get blocked by a player getting back. That was something they introduced, I believe, in the March update, and it's really fun. Mancini's Italian. I believe he is, yeah. You couldn't be not Italian with a name like Mattia Mancini, could you? There he is, Mattia Mancini. Nine million pounds. They actually brought him from um, Al Nasser, of all people. Which is mad. Who've made a pro Wow, imagine that. A Saudi club making a profit on a player sale. Crazy. Yeah, I know. I totally forgot that that was... I thought this was the semis again. That's amazing. Get in there, Ferenc Farosh. They will... Wow, Ajax have just mugged Newcastle off. So where did Ajax come in the groups? Because that's going to give us a good idea of where... Oh, that's it. Right below Villarreal. And wrote right below Ferenc Farosh on 16 points. How like 200 players? Uh, because we can. You just sign players. There's no limit. Newcastle were 10th. So, yeah, Newcastle being 10th. Um, you're right, so what do they have? So, let's see if they got any points for Newca for England losing. They fucking did! It's awarding England points for them losing games. Oh, that's bullshit. As far as I'm, as far as I'm aware, there is no nothing about getting points for being knocked out. Uh, uh, to my knowledge, anyway. I'm fairly certain we've already got to the point now where... I think it is. I'm the Pope. Uh, yeah, we've never been given points for losing a semi-final ourselves, so it would make no sense if England were randomly awarded points. It must have been... Well, I mean, it'd be a bit weird if we just noticed it now. There's no English teams in the Conference League. Uh, Leeds didn't even get into the group. Danny, thank you very much for the follow.
they just got awarded the equivalent of a draw for a loss. Because they have eight teams in Europe, so it would have been... What was it, Ratio? It was like uh, 0.125, wasn't it? That is absolute bullshit. You just knock it around. But no, you don't, because we've never been awarded... Po well, so then why have we never been given points when we lost? <laughs> At no point have we ever been given points for losing a round. As far as I'm aware, anyway. I mean, we've looked at it every time and it's never changed. It does seem like we did, yeah. I mean, maybe this has been going on all along. I'm so... Apparently, COVID maddened. is still a thing. If I had the energy, I'd play uh, FM. But I'm here instead. You join us, Percy Cap. Thank you for the 34 months. You join us in the midst of a conspiracy. Yeah, we'll have to watch the others as well gets a boost that would be mad i mean if it is then holy shit i mean as far as i'm aware you get nothing for also if you were going to get it for round progression you'd get it when you were into the round rather than when you were knocked out um and the most the, the key thing is we've never got points for being knocked out and also i think the other thing that's really important here is that uh, and this is the thing that actually I think matters the most. When Chelsea were knocked out, they got the equivalent of a win for a draw. Oh, well, hang on. I see what you're saying. So, are we implying that Chelsea got a draw, but then were given an extra draw for being knocked out? If that... Do you see what I mean? So, they weren't given a win so much as the equivalent of two draws, which I know is the win, but like... Huh. Yeah, that seems to be what's happening. But the question then is, has that been going all along? And is that pervasive across the other nations? Or is it just England this season or just England in other years? Because as far as I'm aware, and I've looked at the coefficient rules plenty of times, as far as I'm aware, you do not get coefficient points for getting knocked out. Or not that I've noticed in this safe. I'm very certain that... At But wouldn't that have meant that we would have then got good bonus points the year we were number one? I feel like I wouldn't have missed it happening to us specifically, yeah. A bonus point for progressing. But then what I mean, Dougie, is why have we never got those bonus points? Because we've definitely been knocked out and our coefficient has never changed. All wins from the group stage onwards... Hang on. Champions League points to... I'm not sure I understand that. Hello, Sean. And Thank Chato. you very much for the 21 months. How is Budapest going? Um, we're in the midst of, a, of confusion. Because it'd be weird if we didn't... Well, that's the problem as well. Because of the, with the introduction of the league stuff, there's an additional round of knockouts too that isn't present in that set of rules so obviously yes i've had to do a little bit of you know artistic liberty but that's the thing chelsea didn't they, bear, bear in mind both these english teams have just been given points for being knocked out now i guess you could argue that they were given appearance points because the round had then finished but i don't remember us ever getting any appearance points but i feel like we'd have noticed us randomly getting extra points which i don't think we've ever had that's what's confusing me I think you're right. I mean, that's that probably is what's happening, I think. For the, yeah, but only ever in the final, Basil. You, I, I've only ever seen it given points for the final appearances. But maybe it is just that... We'd have to keep an eye on it. It's tough now. We'll have to keep an eye on it really closely next season. Because obviously, we've got... The only other games we've got are the final. And I know you get a point for appearing in the final. We'll have to check um, next season because obviously we can't do it now because there's no more like non-final matches. Yeah, we'll have to keep a really close eye on this next year because that would actually explain it. Uh, no, we've not reached the final every year. We've been in the, we've knocked out in the semi-final three years ago. Yeah, but uh, again, James, that doesn't take into account the. Um, it, I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it?
the Spain game with Villarreal, and I, I don't know because um, we I don't know Spain's scores. But in theory, Spain should have been awarded the equivalent of a draw. But that might be what it actually is. But it's just weird that we'd never noticed it up to this point. Is the most sort of intriguing thing about all that. Also, fair play to uh, Montpellier. Great season. Screenshot the current one to compare. Well, we can't compare. We have nothing to compare it to. So even if I screenshot this, I won't have anything to compare it to because it's already happened. So this would be the after, not the before. Um, hmm. That's fascinating. Spain scores and how that screenshots. That's true, actually. Yeah, they are. So Spain. Uh, so Spain. Can we? I can't see Spain because Spain isn't in the first screenshot, unfortunately. And I don't know which one of the ones on the other one is Spain. So it's hard to work out. Because Spain should have got um, a draw. They would have got the equivalent of a draw, wouldn't they? Because they uh, lost to Ferenc Faris at home and therefore they would have got 0 point awesome jiggy. Hmm. I mean, hey, if that's the rules, it's just weird that we'd never noticed it before. Pre-Chelsea draw screenshot. Which pre-Chelsea draw screenshot? Like, which one are you referring to? This one that doesn't show Spain or this one that I don't know which one is Spain? <laughs> oh, you found it. Nice. Then in that case, I don't think this has been implemented properly because I've never noticed... It says you Conference League and Europa League. Well, I've certainly never noticed any bonus points being awarded for progression in the Conference League. Because do you remember that year when we had five teams in Europe and we were able to see... Because it was a really easy division. Because it was like, um, you'd get 0.2 for a win, 0.1 for a draw... Uh, sorry. Um, we'd get 0.4 for a win and 0.2 for a draw. So it's really easy to see the progression. We, never, we were actually keeping a really good track of it and we were always spot on with the amount that we thought they had and we weren't taking points into account. So I wonder if they've like buggered up the implementation of the bonus points in maybe certain other competitions. So maybe it doesn't affect the Conference League or something, even though it says it does. It could just be another case of me having a really... Me starting this on the really early version of the game means that certain things weren't patched properly. A 3 million loan? Yeah. We'd have to go back and look at the VOD, I think. It's some... I mean, if, if that's the case, then that's obviously... You know, it is what it is. Um, what's that? Yeah, no, again, that... This is all good and all, but it doesn't mean it's been implemented like that in the game, is what I'm saying. Like, that's just the same information on a different website, as far as I can see. Um, that's clearly what happens, but the question is, is that actually what happens in FM? That's what we're trying to work out. It's, uh, it's one of those things. It does seem to be the case, though. It's just weird that we'd never noticed it yet. And the... So, what I mean by this is... Do you only get those points for getting knocked out? Or do you get them if you progress? Because the thing that I'm finding strange about this is... Say, for example, uh, we've looked at the coefficient points before a game. And we've gone through. And I've gone to chat. Oh, that means we'll be on 19.7 at this point, right? And the amount I've predicted is the exact amount. Which means it's not adding it, surely. How many spots Spain got? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they should have uh, seven. That's what's confusing me. Is the fact that many times after a game is finished, I've told you guys immediately how many points we're going to have. And then we looked at it and it's matched up with that. But I wasn't taking into account a bonus point. Which is odd. Unless I just happen to have done that in exactly the moments when those points are not being awarded. Like where I've said it in the, after the first leg or something. Or... It's interesting. But I'm, I'm fairly certain that that is exactly what's happened there. Oh, Janos just turned professional. Nice. I would say get him out on loan, but I think he's got a place to play here. Um, that's probably what the situation is. Oh, yeah. UEL final as attending. I love that after all the disappointment of this season, we're still going to get a, conf a, a Europa final. God, boy, is really good as well, isn't he? It's disgusting. <laughs> How dare he be so good? Hmm. Also, apologies. The wires get crossed a little bit because I'm trying to think and talk and respond at the same time and it's always quite difficult to like... If I could just sit and read it myself without actually having to like still be streaming, I think I'd be fine with it, but... Right, okay, so Hadrian's got screenshots. He's got the receipts, Chato. Too much space? No. Uh, actually, it depends. How much space have you got? Um, Because as far as I know, the pack is like 10 gigs, maybe. Last year's VOD before the semi-finals. Nice! That'll count us... No point should be awarded to Germany. Oh, okay, this is... Oh, I like this. It's like live investigation. It, ooh, that's not that much. Um, 
Ah, here we go. So, pre-game. Uh, so, let's just see. So, Germany is number four. So, that we're looking at this one. 18.91. Sorry, 18.929. And after the match, they are on... 18.929. Meaning that them being knocked out did not credit them with any bonus points for participation. That's fascinating. So Germany... But England gets bonus points, but Germany didn't for the exact same thing. So something's balked. Presumably then. Because the points would be allocated at the same time each time. Presumably, right? So England is getting like bonus points when they shouldn't be. It seems like England's getting... Well, no, if anything, the actual the error is actually that Germany isn't getting them. Not that England are. England getting them is actually correct from what I can see. Um, the same link address. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. No, you're right. Hadrian, that's the same address. You've not copied it properly. Very good shout, Captain Kenko. It... Yeah, they have the same exact URL. Well spotted. <laughs> I've done that so many times, Hadrian, when I'm sending you screenshots. <laughs> Eyes like a hawk there, Captain Kenko. Because we were about to start going conspiracy again. My tin hat was about to get taken out the cupboard. Let's just put down the pitchforks for a second. Uh, I don't know if it's licensed or not. It's it's in the base game. Second one, here we go. Right. <laughs> it's the same link <laughs> again. I swear that's the same link again. Hang on, have, have I just clicked the wrong thing? Oh, the wrong first one. My apologies. Right, sorry. <laughs> yes, you're right. Yep. 18.917. And then they moved to 18. Point... Wait. Wait, wait, what? Oh, no. Wait. What am I looking for here? So Germany's there at 18.643. And then they went to 18.917. There we go. Yes. So actually, we've chat. We've solved the mystery. <laughs> so that's what it is. It's round. Up. It it has to be. It's just somehow we've never noticed it before. Yeah, we were all. Oh, the pitchfork fire. We can put them down, chat. Oh, yes, we've won the Champions League many times, Robert. There are indeed bonuses. Yeah. That would explain it, Samaka. Yeah. Oh, look at us go. That's the problem, chat. FM doesn't really earn the benefit of the doubt these days with some of the things that have been in it. So we just immediately assume that it's a bug because the amount of things that actually are. So yeah, so you only get the point when allocated when you're knocked out. So it's it's a participation bonus that is awarded after the round has finished. Because in my head, I would have thought that a participation bonus would have been awarded the moment you were qualified for it because you're guaranteed those points. So it'd be weird not to allocate them, right? And Halagas would, Halagas would get one white. Yeah, you're right. They would have done. Actually, that's a good point. Did Halagash get one? Because they should have been gifted with um, something after the second Real Madrid game. We should have got a little bonus bump for, for them losing at the Bernabeu. Oh, it's because um, it, that was what uh, Hadrian called it when he sent it to me. Yeah, they should get 0 0.125. Or they, we should get it as a, yeah. Basically, Doe, yeah. Uh, Doe? Basically, Doug, yeah, exactly. Uh, let's just uh, let's play this one because we've been struggling with the Sims lately. So let's... Uh, yeah, we're testing out this uh, system that's supposedly supposed to emulate the style of football that uh, Fluminense play. I think the last thing to test would be to make sure that Haladash were awarded, or as a, as a nation, we were awarded that extra point. The problem is, did I check the coefficient beforehand? We still work it out, though, couldn't we? Hey, Captain, Gar oh, ha Captain Gravybo. He plays weird football, and we like weird football around these parts. It's a shame that Fruit is going to be leaving Uipesht. Got, not, got one point. Oh, okay. So they did. All right. That's fine. Hey, as long as it's a fair playing field, it is what it is. It's just I'd never noticed that individual thing before. But it's good to know that that's the case because it actually means that we can expect slightly more points than we would have um, been normally used to. And it's also quite impressive for us that we've managed to get over 20 points this year considering we got knocked out in the round of 16. And usually we're the ones doing the heavy lifting on that. It's also kind of sad because you think that we could have probably at least earned another two points ourselves just by getting to the final. Which I feel like we would have done, given the lack of quality in the on our side of the draw. Well, yeah, normally we don't have eight teams in the knockouts. 
I still feel fully confident that we can have eight teams in the knockouts next time, but at least we're going to be guaranteed eight teams in Europe again because we are going to come second this year above England because they can't catch us anymore because they have no more teams left in Europe until it just gives them randomly more points. Go on, Blaz. Ah. Oh. West Ham. Oh, nice one. Fair one. We've had it all today. Stream crashes, investigations. It's all there. Yeah, not the smartest decision there, but I mean, you can tell the difference, right? Dogs in the crowd might struggle a little bit, but you know, we're not here for them. It's fine. Ah. I think, what was that? Blas won 43 goals for the year? I'm so sorry, Bear. Can you... Ha Ooh. Got one. Ah, so there you go. So it does work. Oh, that's fine. I just don't trust it. But now if we know that that actually is consistent, we can kind of expect... Christ, that's even more reason to get teams through to the knockouts. Because even getting teams knocked out is still worth something for the progression. Playoff, knockout playoff round, which is where most longer is. Oh, that's a good point, Alano. I had not thought about that. That is a good point. So what Alano's uh, hypothesizing is that maybe you don't get the round appearance points for the first knockout round. where Because that's not in the real life coefficient yet because it doesn't exist, does it? And so maybe they haven't programmed that in potentially. Do more FM conspiracy. Um, um, where am I going to start? Do you remember when I had that save when every time my team would um, go a goal up? Sorry, every time I would... There'd be many games that were finished by three goals to two. Like way more than you'd expect in real life. I think it was one season of like 46 games in the championship where I think 13 of them were by three goals to two. But all of them had the same pattern of goal scoring. So we would... we would It would always be like team A scores, team B scores, then team B, then team A, then team A. Always the same pattern every single time. It was a weird thing in the match engine I noticed during, I think, Stockport maybe? Yeah, but bear in mind, Basil, those are based on the current system of the Champions League because that, that round doesn't exist in the current format. Uh, that will only be implemented once we get the Swiss system. So I don't know if SI have ported that back or maybe they didn't include that bit potentially. Game more bonus points. That's a good point, actually. So, in theory, to keep it fair, they shouldn't get any bonus points for it. R2D2, thank you for the follow. But that's why it's even more important for us to get teams to actually get through to the next bloody round instead of getting knocked out like they always seem to. I'm still confident that next year with the same... Although, the one thing we might not have the problem... The problem we're going to have is Kekschmet because they're going to be in the Champions League and they're, they're dreadful. They barely even could handle the Conference League. So having them in the champion and Uwe Pesh are going to be back in Europe as well. We're going to lose Kishvada most likely and Debrecen. Swiss system. Uh, we, well, we're using the Swiss system. This, this is, I mean, we're, yeah. <laughs> well, all the equivalent of it or whatever. I know there's like slight other stuff to do and people want to get pedantic about it. But what they call the Swiss system in this anyway, we're using those rules right now. We're fine. Rep rolling, yeah! Rep rolling makes you pass each other. Chat, go on. Hit me with your best FM conspiracy theories. Ah. I'm curious. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Um, we've certainly not struggled. Storylines exist. In the FM game specifically. Um, I guess you could do FM conspiracy theories about McDonald's, but that'd be a tough one. Um, I think in real life it's going to be shit because it's just going to establish the hegemony even further. But in FM, it's really fun. Always deliberately flipped. Ooh. I'll stop Ben to set that server. I don't think he did because I was talking to him when he decided... Well, I'm pretty certain I was literally in a call with him when he decided to do the survey. It was live messing. They do know a lot about your saves. It does make you wonder, doesn't it? Like, if... If right now there's just a lot of people in the SI office who's been like, well, Matt's streaming. Should we, like, fuck with them for a little bit? He's been having a little bit too much fun in that save lately. <laughs> I know, obviously, it's data collection that they do. It just would be funny if they had that kind of power. <laughs> Commentator's curse do be happening with regularity. Norway, yeah, I mean, Norway actually won back-to-back -back trophies in this save. With, to be fair, their squad was stacked, but even so. Yeah, Neil Brock's always very good. He plays for Bayern in this one at the moment. 
found out there the leak phase is up. That is a good point. I guess it would be depending on who you're watching, right? Phases of the moon. It's true. Is Mercury in retrograde? If it is, congratulations. Five star potential. <laughs> to be fair, Mike still actually has like four star in this. No, yeah, I mean, I think we briefly got an A, but only when we... The one time we got a really high rating, ironically, was when we didn't win the Champions League. Well, us getting to the Champions League final that time when we weren't expected to, and we lost to PSG, obviously. I think that's the one time we got an A as our rating. Only pseudo... Oh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, real RNG is almost impossible to attain because it's always going to have a code behind it. Oh, my God, we're actually losing. Cock Wriggling's just scored against us. <laughs> Stops an F Ming. Ooh, that'd be something fun to test, actually. That'd be quite a fun video in general, just testing FM conspiracies. The most chaotic. I mean, that I agree on. I I think there certainly is something to do that for us. I mean, look how well the Hungarian sides often do at home in Europe a lot of the time. Holding down B helps you score penalties. And you also get to do a flip. We have indeed been subjected to a, a, royal, a right royal cocking here from Uipesh. Near post corners because it might work. And to be fair, even when we... Like, this tactic at the moment doesn't even have set pieces built into it. But the one set piece goal we still scored was just, like, back post header. Oh, Spurs do act like bottle merchants a lot in my FM saves, I must say. The worst one for me was one where they were 5-0 up in the first leg. I lost the second leg 6-0. Join League of Performance, ban the teams in your hot. Mmm. That's intriguing. I'm being vibrated here. The game does the game not follow the real transfer policy? Um, I don't know, actually, uh, Renato. I've. In fact, I'm fairly certain that they're not because we've loaned them players who are not Hungarian. We've actually got a couple online right now, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Unless they just happen to have taken only Hungarian loans from us. But I'm fairly certain I've loaned them. No, they had Regan Booty at one point, who's very much English in this save. Well, drop points there, frustratingly. It's not hard. It's weird that it's not, considering... Yeah. I forgot about the whole Booty Patchy thing. Picks up your microphone. This is true. Yeah, it's like if you get too happy, it decides to hit it. It, it literally hears the intros. Debrecen get a win, but it's not going to be enough to get him into... Oh, no, it's not literally, isn't it? Because is Vada could still get in on... Actually, I'd quite like them to come eighth, because that means they'll be in the Conference League next year, and them in the Conference League is terrifying. These guys are a Champions League team. Way, way better than this. And now they've got Kevin Griffiths, too. Oh, Drunken Wheel. Oh, it's that that concerns me. Like, Halalash, Ferenc, Farish, and Giamot, I fancy to do a good job in the Champions League next year. Kechmet have got 36th written all over them. They are literally going to be 36th, without a shadow of a doubt. When is the uh, final? Oh, it's a little while away, actually, because we're still, we've still we actually still got league games left. Midoran That does seem to happen a lot, Ratio, yeah. I like both. Our actual normal set-piece setup has one of each, and they just rotate between them, in theory, anyway. Hmm. Oh, no, I thought that was that team we looked up earlier, actually, for a second. It's Lemon. When life gives you lemons, you check if there's any funny names. Oh, speaking of funny names, someone sent me a, um, on Twitter uh, a player they had who was called Prince Andrews, which is just great. Also, speaking of Twitter as well, I um, realized that when they changed some setting, and it had changed it so that people only people that had verified accounts could DM me. I've now switched that off um, because I didn't realize that was the case. So that my Twitter DMs are now open again. Um, but yeah, it was some default setting got changed. So that was weird. I have noticed a lot of randomness. Uh, in one of my tests... Christ, which video was it? Uh, I think it was in the release video. Guinea got to the World Cup final. No, Ghana, wasn't it? World Cup final. When you're X saying, I mean, I just, no one's not going to call it Twitter, are they? I just call it, it's still Twitter.com, isn't it? It's like, yeah, I didn't realize it because normally I get a reasonable amount of like random DMs into like the, you know, people you may know inbox and I'll always check that. But I noticed that it kind of just stopped. And I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Fair enough. I guess people are just not interested in talking to me anymore. And then when um, Prince sent me a DM on Discord saying that he couldn't message me on Twitter. And I was like, what the hell? So I looked through my settings and I found it. It's weird. It's like, why would I want them to be verified to message me? I'm not verified. 
I ain't paying for that shit. Basically, nothing I just said. Oh, for sure. Particularly on some of the certain staff attributes, Fraj. Like, I'm convinced that it's kind of like, um... Like moving deck chairs in the Titanic. Titanic? It's been a long day. I mean, if it was, people could, you can deal me on many platforms. It's just not everyone has Discord. More people have Twitter than Discord. Although it's probably growing. Analysts are pointless. It's three separate notes, one behind. Yeah. I mean, but wait until we get. I I'm telling you, chat. FM24, medical meetings. You heard it here first. I'm saying it. It feels like the one thing that they've not shoved a meeting into yet. And it feels like the most likely one to see is medical meetings. When, mm, another injury. I thought this dude was called Matalan for a second there. Oh, speaking of Matalan, holy God. They've actually got a couple of guys that might be viable. Carlos Cruz, Jordan Morgan. Jordan Morgan is a fun name to say because it just sounds like a... What, I, don't know, I don't even know what it sounds like. Commercial meetings. Fell out of loft. To be honest, I felt like I fell out of a loft lately. They're going to hear it. Oh, well, maybe we can speak it into not existing. Just in case anyone from SI is listening. Nobody wants this, I promise. The people that have been told to make that, if that was the case, would know that that's not something general players are actually interested in. But, you know, they're not the ones that make those decisions, unfortunately. And uh, therefore, I have no ill will towards them. I just think that the meetings thing was a bit unnecessary a lot of the time anyway. And maybe that's just because I'm, you know, not the average player. I play the game slightly differently. And maybe that's because I look for different things out of it, right? Just gave me a set. I did not know. Um, I'm not a Manchester United nor a Wolves fan. Uh, Pog and I were um, cooking dinner at the time, I think. And then after that, we were watching Evan Almighty. Redacted. No, 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 no. I'm not showing Redacted again, Brazio. I showed Redact... I'm going to reject this for the simple reason, right? I showed Redacted the game before everything went wrong on the last stream for every single Hungarian side. And I didn't show... Oh, do I risk it? Real quick, real quick. It's a transfer window next time around. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> there he is. At uh, HBK. I suppose I have just cost Ferenc Faris the, uh, the Europa League final, haven't I? I, yeah, it's true. Maybe we could cancel out the curse with another curse. So there he is. Never got a Denmark cap, obviously. He's got, got business. Yeah, now we have just cost Ferenc Farish the uh, Europa League final, I suppose. That's 12-0 uh, yeah, Ajax. Redacted. Uh, basically... All right. Okay, I'm not going to probably get to do this. I'm not going to get to tell the story of Redacted probably any more times in this save anyway, so I figured that now's probably the best time. So we'll do it right now at the end of um, the stream because I think he's probably going to have retired. So basically, the situation we redacted, it's actually fairly simple. And then he sexually assaulted a swan and that obviously caused several problems throughout the club. found him rehab and eventually he was able to recover from that but still whenever he hears a honking things can get a little bit dodgy for him and that's pretty much the situation um the amount of times i hit hulk mode on sunday you jesus christ oh. tier three to hear it's true lip reading this in the vod to be fair i was just telling the actual story of redacted <laughs> when i wasn't muted i was when i was muted i was just telling the actual story Justice for swans. Or, did I say swans? I meant goose. I meant geese. I've told the wrong, the wrong story has been told. He remembers the honking when he hears a honking. It's true. Don't let me get giddy now. In fact, you can see his beak just down there. Uh, let me just save that there. Fucking hell. What a weird stream. That was bizarre on so many levels. We've had ups, we've had downs. But the most important thing is Halash didn't have a single fucking shot in the second leg against Real Madrid. <laughs> That's the real quiz. To be fair, I'm still fucking happy for them. Like, they managed to get to the Champions League semis and also only narrowly lost it. That's amazing from them. So, who is live this afternoon? Uh, let me reset my thingy, Bob. Uh, no Kevin yet. Okay, let's try. Let's try, let's try, let's try. Let's go, Gavin. Let's go, Gavin. Let's, let's do that. We can regale him with our unbelievable stories today. And you can tell him all about Redacted. 
So we got second in the coefficients, which is actually all we wanted out of the year. And we've still had a good year. Like we could still finish on like close to 21 points, I think, with Ferenc Faros, which is not bloody bad when you consider all the negative things that have happened, right? That's not bad. So, my friends, uh, I will see you lovely people on Thursday for a Europa League final. We still get a final. After all this nonsense, we're still going to have a final out of it. That VOD is going to be messy for a start. And also the recap video is going to have some swearing <laughs> i suspect oh god thank you for joining me today my friends thank you so much for the gift of subs earlier and the bits that are very very kind and uh, yes i'll see you lovely people on thursday at end of sentence hold your gun capybara ta -ra.